Happy Mother's Day! Good morning, everyone. I'm Auntie Ruby. I'm the Children Minister of CPC COC, and today is Mother's Day. And you know, it's our joy that we can worship God together and also honor our moms today. Are you ready? Let's start with a prayer. Ask God to be with us and also to bless our mom. Let's pray. Dear Heavenly Father, thank you for being a loving father who give us good moms. Father, you know, our moms always love us unconditionally and take care of us since we was born, even while we, we were in their wombs. And, you know, our moms are caring for us and taking care of us. And Father, we are so thankful, you know, for our moms and also so thankful for you too. And it's a good gift for us to have good mom and to take, to love you and also love us. And Father, we just pray that today, all the moms, you will fill their hearts with joy and peace and love and they will be so happy and also help all the children and we know how to honor them. Like Ruth, how she honors her mother-in-law, Naomi, and we will be the same. We will do the same to honor our moms by following her and loving her and also obeying her. And also, Father, just pray that uh, if any moms, they are not safe yet, pray that, you know, they will all be saved. They will know Jesus Christ as their Lord and Savior. And also, they will enjoy a life of fullness in Jesus Christ. And we know that some moms may be far away, and, you know, not with us at the same place. And Father, we pray that and your protection and your blessing will be with them. And like my mom, she's in Hong Kong, Father, and may you watch over her and bless her. But Father, Father we will not take for granted while our moms is near us, are near us, and we will love them, we will uh, honor them. But we commit today the sermon, the third message unto your hand, and it will be a time that we can know how God wants us to, to love and honor our mom. And also, and we will learn how to love and honor you too. Uh, but we are thankful, and we commit the rest of the time into your hand, and we pray all this in Jesus' name. Amen. Okay, and so now is the worship time. Today we have a VBS song. You know that VBS is coming, right? And so let us sing this song, Everywhere I Go. Actually, it's matched well with the story we will study today about Ruth. Ruth follows, honors Naomi. Okay, and so actually today this song is also very special because you will see many pictures, you know, of the moms and also their kids and they are doing great things and happy things and good time. Thank you for all the thanks. And also some of the moms too, to send all these beautiful pictures and to me. And also thank you, Seth. Seth is the one helping us to put all this picture together and so that into a very special video. Are you ready? Okay, let's join us to clap and sing and also, you know, take a look of all these beautiful pictures. Let's start.
And I don't walk alone Everywhere I go On this road high and low Where I go I go with you So I won't be afraid This my home Come what may Where I go I go with you Everywhere I go On this road high and low Where I go I go Wow, what a nice song. We could sing, right? This is a VBS song. We will sing it again. Last Sunday, Mark Ogo came to share with us about one body of Christ from 1 Corinthians. Remember, one body, but there are many parts. It's all from one spirit and one love. And hope you enjoyed that sermon and that message. And today, it's Mother's Day, right? Of course, we will talking. We will be talking something about you know, honoring our mom, loving our moms, right? And first question, let me ask you, how to show love to your, to our moms? And I'm not sure this morning you have done something to your mom, maybe uh, cooking breakfast for her or giving her a card or a heart, okay? But it's not too late if you haven't done that. We still have the rest of the days. But I will give you some ideas, okay? How to show love to our moms. And actually, there are five love languages that we can use to show love to others, including our moms, okay? I'm not sure you know about that. Like we have, we can speak different languages like Mandarin, Cantonese, English. But for love, for showing love, actually, there are five love languages too. And it's here. Firstly, words of affirmation, like saying thank you and also, you know, love, I love you, you know, good job, moms. Okay, and so those are words of affirmation. And the second one is acts of service, like helping, serving. Number three is receiving gift. Gift, of course, very obvious, right? Showing love. And then quality time, like spending good time with them. And also physical touch. Okay, let's play a game, okay? Let's see whether you can match. I do like a survey game, okay? I do a hand motion. You try to guess which love language I'm pointing to. Okay, the first one. Give you an easy one, okay? Okay, what do you think? What is that? A heart, right? And so which one do you think it will go to? Yes, physical touch, right? Giving a heart to someone, showing love to someone. This is the physical touch, one of the love language. What about this one? Okay, from the mouth, which one? I'm sure you can guess it right. Words of affirmation, right? From your words saying thank you and I love you. That's how we show love, right? What about this one? Okay. Or, yeah, actually, I try to follow, you know, the picture. Yeah, act of service, right? You try to serve your mom, try to serve someone you love by helping them. Okay, what about this one? Mm, this one is harder, right? I don't know how to do it. Okay. <laughs> what do you think? Quality time. Like doing things, playing, watching movie, you know, spending good time together. And the last one, this is easy. Okay? The last love language, what is this? Yes, receiving gift, right? Actually, you know, showing love is the one giving gift. And so, how to show love to your moms, to our moms? Yeah, physical touch, like giving a heart to her today, okay? If you haven't done that, or if you have prepared something, a gift, even a small gift is you know, it's good. The mom will be so happy because of your heart to prepare that. Uh, this is a big one, okay? Giving a gift, right? And also we talked about 
act of service, right? Serving your mom by helping, picking up the, you know, like doing chores at home, clean up, pick up, you know, the, the toys, or uh, setting up the table for dinner and meal, or cooking. I know that some of you are good cook. You can cook a dish for your mom. Like my daughter Ella, she used to love to she loved to bake, right? And so she will bake some cakes or fruit tarts, you know, for for us to eat. Yeah, I I, I love that. This will be the quality time, spending good time with your mom. Like take her out to eat or to play or to the park, to the beach. Yeah, you can do it today, right? Of course, this is the words of affirmation. Sometimes it may not be the words. You can even make notes like this. Mom, I'm sure that the word gratitude was invented today. Happy Mother's Day. Okay, you can write some notes or even say it out to your mom. Okay, Auntie Ruby give you a lot of good ideas how to show love to our moms. Hope that you can do it. But why I'm talking about that? Because today the message is from the book of Ruth. We go back to the Old Testament and talking about Ruth, how she honor, you know, her mother-in-law, okay? Honor your mother. And from her, we can learn the lesson. And Ruth won. Ruth honors Naomi. Yeah. Okay, and so... Uh, Again, we go to the background. The book of Ruth is in the Old Testament under the history. And actually, Ruth is, you know, while Ruth, the family, you know, they went to Moab. It's during the time of Judges. Okay, it's around the time of Judges. Good. Actually, if you remember, we studied that book before, talking about Ruth's faithful love to Naomi. And so today, actually... You know, we will go to that story again. But anyway, and before we start, uh, why don't we have our special speakers? Uh, they are siblings, okay? Abigail and also Elijah. And they will read for us from the book of Ruth, chapter 1, 1 to 5. Okay, now I give you the time. Abigail and also Elijah, please. Ruth 1, 1 to 5. Long ago, the judges ruled Israel. During the rule, there was a time in the land when there was not enough food to eat. A man named Enoch left Bethlehem in Judah and moved to the country of Moab. He took his wife and his two sons with him. His wife was named Naomi, and his two sons were named Malon and Kilion. These people were from the Africa district around Bethlehem in Judah. The family traveled to Moab and lived there. Later, Naomi's husband, Imelech, died, so only Naomi and her two sons were left. Three sons married women from Moab. The name of one wife was Orpha. The name of the other wife was Ruth. Naomi and her sons lived in Moab about ten years. Then Malone and Kilon also died, so Naomi was left alone without her husband or her two sons. Good job. Thank you, Abigail and Elijah. It's really good to see how both of you help each other out to read the passage out. Okay, let's go to Ruth's story. And you know, as I said, it's happened during the judge's time. Well, there's, there was a famine in Bethlehem in Judah. And that's why, you know, uh, actually Eddie Millett and Naomi, the family, they moved to Moab in order to have food. And, but very sad story, you know that, you know, after, you know, Naomi's husband died. And then later, even his, you know, her two sons got married. But however, her two sons like here, their name Marlon and also Kilion, they both died too. How sad. And so leaving a house, a home of three widows. And they are Naomi. Okay, I'm sure this may be the older one, Naomi, and also, you know, of course, Orba and Ruth. And it's a sad story, and I, you know, no man at home take care of the women, and so now Naomi has to make a decision. And so let's see what will happen. Okay, actually, she made a decision to go back to Bethlehem. 
because you heard that it uh, seems like now the situation is better and there are food available and also you know it's a foreign land Moa is not her own home not her hometown and so now without her husband and without the maybe the famine has passed that's why it may be a good time for her to go back okay now we have another uh, special reader uh, okay do you know who you know she is she's Evelyn okay Evelyn will read for us from Ruth 1 verse 11 to 17 okay let's see what happened to these three widows But Naomi said, My daughters go back to their own homes. Why do you want to go with me? I cannot give birth to more sons to give you new husbands. So go back to your own homes, and I'm too old to have another husband. But even if I had another husband, Tonight, and if I had more sons, it would, wouldn't would help. Would you want to w wait until the babies were grown into men? Would you live for so many years without husbands? Don't you do this thing. My life is too sad for you to share. This is because the Lord is against me. The woman cried together again. Then Orpah kissed Naomi goodbye, but Ruth held on to her. Naomi said, Look, your sister-in-law is going back to her own people and her own gods. Go back with her. But Ruth said, Don't ask me to leave, to leave you. Don't beg me not to follow you. Every place you go, I will go. Every place you live, I will live. Your people will be my people. Your God will be my God. And where, when you die, I will die. And there, I will be buried. I ask the Lord to punish me terribly if I don't keep this promise. Only death will separate us. Ruth 1, 11 to 17. Thank you, Evelyn. Good job in reading. Okay, and so now we see that uh, Naomi, she's thinking to go back to Bethlehem. And she's sending her two daughters-in-law, you know, back home. Yeah, because she knows that, you know, and she will have another sons for them to get married so that, you know, to continue the family. And, you know, and it's better for them to go back to their home so that they have parents to take care of them. And also they have another chance to get married. But however, while they try, you know, she tried to, you know, uh, send them away. Opa, yeah, both of them would like to stay with her. But ultimately, Opa kiss and goodbye, say goodbye to her. But not for Ruth. Ruth held on to her. You know, do you see here? And so that's verse 16. That's what Ruth said. Don't ask me to leave you. Don't beg me not to follow you. Every place you go, I will go. Every place you live, I will live. Your people will be my people. Your God will be my God. What a powerful words of affirmation, right? The love language, like telling you know, her mother-in-law, not her mom's, but it's like her mom's, you know. And her mother-in-law, Naomi, that, you know, how much, like, love and faithful love she has for her. Wherever you go, I will go. I will follow you, you know. And your God will be my God. Your people will be my people. And so that's why, and that's love, any love language you can see. She wants to go with her her mother-in-law to Bethlehem so that she can take care of her too, right? The act of service. Remember the five love languages? Not just the words of affirmation, affirming to her mother-in-law that, you know, she will stick to her. And also like act of service. You know the story, right? How she went, goes to pick, you know, the 
the the the crops so that you know to feed her and as of service a lot of love and there's no better way to honor you know our moms than to listen and follow them the way you know they teach us and hopefully you know that's how Ruth show us how much love you know he has for his for her mother-in-law and and indeed God honor her and God blessed her. Remember, God blessed her with a very good husband in the land of Bethlehem. His name is Cor Boaz. Yes. And ultimately, from Ruth and Boaz, they became the great grandparents for King David. And God indeed honored Ruth for her faithful love, for her honor to her mother in law Naomi and also bless her, you know, you know, with a good husband and also a great grandson. Right? But anyway, and I hope that you love this story and also remind you how much love and honor you can have for your moms. And now let's play this game and lesson trivia. Let's see how well you remember the story. And I will read the statement. You will tell us whether it's true or false. Okay? You can yell out. Are you ready? Okay, good. Number one, Ruth was Naomi's mother. Okay, think it clearly. Okay, is that true or false? Let's say it together. One, two, three. Is false, of course. It's the other way around, right? Actually, Naomi is Ruth's mother, but mother-in-law. Okay? Second one, Naomi and Ruth's husbands died. Remember the story, the beginning of the story? Is that right? True or false? Okay, let's say it together. One, two, three. It's true. Very good. Number three, Ruth urged Naomi to return home to her people alone. Okay, figure that out whether it's right. Ruth urged Naomi to return home to her people alone. Is that right? True or false? One, two, three. Of course, it's false, right? Actually, it's Naomi try to urge Ruth to go back to her home and instead of, you know, following her. Number four, Ruth pledged to stay with Naomi and to make Naomi's God her God. Remember verse 16 we read? What do you think? Yes, it's true. Very good job. The last one. The only time we need to be thankful for our moms is on Mother's Day. Did we say that? Okay, true or false? Let's say it together. One, two, three. False, of course. Of course, Mother's Day is our the best time we can, you know, be thankful and show thanks to our mom. But it's not the only time, okay? And so that will be so sad. Each year we have 365 days. Only Mother's Day that day you show love to your mom. That's not enough. Okay, we show love to our moms, honor them every day. Like what Ruth, you know, did to Naomi. But very good job. Now let's go to our memory verse. Today, there's this verse, I think, every year during the Mother's Day and Father's Day that what God wants us to do. Okay, actually, I found a special reader to read this verse for us too. It's Dorcas. Are you ready? Okay, Dorcas, please. Honor your father and your mother so that you may live long in the land the Lord your God is giving you. Exodus 20.12 Thank you, Dorcas. Good job in reading. I know that this is your first time. And so this verse talking about honor your father and your mother so that you may live long in the land of the law, the Lord your God is giving you from Exodus 20, 12. Okay, and so this is one of the commandments out of the 10 commandments that God asks us to do. And it is the only commandment with a promise. The promise is that when you honor your parents, your father and mother, you will live long in the land the Lord your God is giving you. You will have a long life. And so that's why and I hope that all of you will do that. Okay, and also memorize this verse. Good. 
Okay, today's learning. Today we learned that Ruth honored Naomi, her mother-in-law, by sticking close to her. Okay, never give her up, never let her go alone. And she will take care of her and also she will be with her and follow her. Right, number two, Ruth followed Naomi to honor her God and also her people. And indeed, God honored her too, right, Ruth, for her heart. And God bless her with a good husband and also a great, great grandson. Good. And what about our applications? Okay, of course, we will honor God and also our moms. And today, that's why in our prayer, we thank God. Of course, we honor God because our moms come from God. Okay, and also, you know, that's the time for us to honor our moms. Remember the five love languages? That's what Auntie Ruby would like to challenge you. Number two, we can show love to our moms with the love languages we learned today. The five love languages, do you remember? The words of affirmation, okay? And what else? Quality time, service, gift, right? And also physical touch, a hug. Okay, think about that. You know, pick some love languages to show it to your mom today. Okay, let me give you some announcement, some praises. Last Friday, the children family workshops too, you know, and we did have nine kids receive Jesus Christ as their Savior and Lord. Um, praise the Lord, okay? PTL means praise the Lord. Did you see all the pictures? We are so happy. Yeah, I told them, whoever won turn to Christ, like receive Jesus Christ on earth, there are thousands of angels, you know, celebrating, celebrating and rejoicing in heaven. Okay, and so that's how joyful we are. But may God bless all of them and their growth and also uh, their journey with God, okay? That's the faith journey start. And next Sunday, we will have our ECM Zoom service again. Okay, and so it's from 11.15 to 11.45. Hope to see all the age 3 to 5 kids and their family to join us. It's on Zoom. And also, okay, in order to show love, not just to our moms, but also to some kids with cancer, care cards at home. Okay, this word actually means never ever give up. And we try to encourage those kids who got cancer, okay? And last week during the Sunday school time, Auntie Ruby mentioned about that. I show you this, you know, these are the, those instructions you can follow. And um, actually, you know, we have the, the card sample for you to print out. I send your moms the link, okay, your parents the link through the email uh, on the past Monday. And so just print it out and then you color it, okay? You can see that these are some samples of good and not so good cards. Okay, here is a good card, right? Very colorful, with solid color, and also with wonderful words. And these are not that good, you know, but however, I'm sure many of you will do a very good job. But one, uh, just one note to take care of is like, be creative, but do not uh, use glitter or glue, okay? Just color it. And also, in order to make the card more, you know, welcome to those who receive, please do not use faith-based language. And yeah, because some of the receiver may not be a Christian, and so they may not, you know, can relate to that. That's why uh, the best is follow this card, okay? You are loved, and you are so beautiful, you are a hero, and never, ever give up. Yeah, but uh, don't say you feel better, and also, like, get well soon because we don't know how's their situation okay but they have all the instruction you know, on the link okay another exciting things coming up is the closing ceremony for Awana and also J12 at the end you no know, May 28th 7 30 to 8 30 we are planning to have an in-person closing ceremony okay Awana will be in fellowship hall and J12 group will be in C1 C01 Okay, check on email, you will have more details. Okay, VBS again. 
again early bird registration has started for a week and I'm not sure it's good news or bad news you know actually the elementary in-person spots are all taken it's full now virtual is still open that's why if you are elementary kids from kinder to sixth grade you can definitely join us on zoom okay the virtual one but for the in-person one if you really want to come okay let auntie ruby knows and i will put you in the waiting list okay let's see whether we have spot release after yeah but if you're a preschool preschooler you know like uh, age three to five definitely we still have spot available and so please quickly sign up okay spring challenge challenges I'm not sure you have seen this picture it's so cute Jaden Neal you know sent it to me like see while he's reading the Bible actually his cats are joining us too like reading the Bible I'm not sure it's every day okay if they can do it I'm sure all of us can do it okay if you are done with the four challenges okay either one of them ask your parents send me a picture of you holding your Bible okay then i will come to you and drop off some special treat or gift for you okay and anyway and now is our end time and uh, the time to end and also you know end with a prayer may god bless us let's pray dear heavenly father thank you for today the message ruth honors naomi and ruth love you know and stick to naomi follows her and serve her and Father, we pray that we will learn from her and also showing the same thing. We will honor our moms during, you know, especially today and honor our parents and we will love them, use the five love language to show love to them. And also, Father, and we know that when we honor our parents, you honor us too. Like how you honor Ruth. And Father, we just pray that uh, today you fill our mom's heart with joy, peace, love, hope, and also most important, they will have your salvation. Um, but we commit this week unto your hand, and there's a lot of things going on. Even today is the last day for our voting for Pastor Michael Liang, our children pastor, you know, the candidate. And we pray that, Father, everything will go well. And all the people, all the members will vote. And also may your will be done and again you know, continues to pray for our reopening our preparation for the coming closing ceremony of j12 awana and vbs yeah a lot of things going on even for school too yeah this year school year will end soon and father help us to finish well and with your grace and with your help but we give you thanks may you bless us with a wonderful mother's day and a blessed week and we pray all this in Jesus name. Amen. Okay, and so have a blessed Mother's Day and week and I will see you next Sunday. Bye.